Okay, in this video, still from the EJU 2019 uh, course one, I'm still the same part two, but this is number two. Yeah, okay, this is about quadratic. Yeah, uh, they give us two quadratic function fx and uh, gx. Yeah, and they ask uh, to answer the following question. Okay, first question the range the value of a such that the equation this one fx and gx has two different solution okay so first we need to uh, make fx equal to gx uh, make the equation the new equation so fx equal gx okay I simplify the x square with x square become two x square and this is two ax plus a squared minus a and this four I move to left so become negative four equal to zero okay here we have a new quadratic equation if the coefficient of a is two this is coefficient of a and this is coefficient of b and this is coefficient of c right okay and they want the new equation has two different solution two different solution means we they uh, this equation have to uh, satisfy the equation uh, the require record requirement d or discriminant greater than zero yeah you will find this d usually in quadratic formula if you remember quadratic formula is looks like this square root of d over 2a right and this is the same d the same d okay d equal b squared minus 4ac b is come from here this is b and this is 4a and this is c okay just substitute all the uh, the variable to the to this inequality so 2a squared minus 4ac greater than 0 just do some algebraic this is 8 so 8a squared be careful about the negative sign here plus 8a plus 32 Okay, greater than zero we continue here you can simplify here so become minus 4a squared plus 8a plus 32 greater than zero now better i simplify by dividing by negative 4 a squared minus 2a minus 8 be careful because you divide by negative the sign should be changed okay change the sign so you just factorize this 4 and 2 this is negative and this is positive so here you got a equal negative 2 and uh, or a equal 4 be, be careful this is not equation but this is inequality yeah? so you need to put negative uh, number line here negative 2 and 4 uh, look at this 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 quadratic uh, function is uh, with the coefficient of a squared is positive so it should be like this okay and they ask uh, less than equal to zero oh, sorry less than zero or above the y axis so they ask this part okay so they ask this part so for the first first part we got a must be between negative two and four okay here should be fill here and here so we got k equal to and l become 4 okay 
this is the first yeah remember this is the first solution let's go to answer the next question okay number two in the case one the parabola y equal fx or this one we move to here and y equal gx here intersect at two points yes because d greater than zero right we are to find the range of the value of a such that both a coordinates of this point intersection are positive this is the clue the very important clue yeah they want uh, both y coordinates intersection are positive so better i draw the situation okay very easy for me to draw this one gx equal 4 minus x squared because uh, there is no variable there is no unknown here yeah you, you have the roots 2 and negative 2 and you have the you got the intersection here so I can draw easily here here okay okay this is gx this is negative 2 and this is 2 okay huh. we need to draw uh, this fx so uh, they satisfy this uh, requirement yeah two points and both points the, the y is are positive both of them so it should be like this yeah it should be like this it should be like this the the intersection they have two this is one and this is two and then uh, both of them the value of y positive okay above above the x-axis yeah okay now they don't accept like this okay because first the y this is positive but this the y is negative right so this is unacceptable yeah and also if you draw like this this intersect is positive yes but this another intersect is negative okay so this is not satisfy the require yeah so i draw the fx it must be like this okay this is the fx this is the intersection okay from this uh, this picture you can see that uh, first if I write here this is should be f2 right so f2 greater than 0 and I draw this also you can see here this is is f negative 2 right yeah the value of f negative 2 is also greater than 0 yeah okay we have here fx here i put negative 2 to here yeah 2 2 okay so i write here negative 2 squared plus 2a times negative 2 plus a squared minus a greater than 0 i simplify like this and I think this is this one and this one become minus 5a plus 4 greater than 0 okay so here is for this one okay this one and this is negative 2 come to here yeah okay so a squared minus 5a plus 4 okay and we can solve this negative 4 negative 1 so we got a equal 4 and a equal 1 but be careful this is uh, 
this is not the equation but we this is inequality so we have to draw one and four uh, and we can see from here the a squared is positive so the quadratic will be like this they ask greater than zero yeah greater than zero so this part okay so the solution from uh, this is a less than one or a greater than four yeah you can see here this is a is less than one and here is a greater than four okay this is two yeah this is from two for two and let's continue to do this one okay be careful we have fx here yeah just put it two into here and into here okay do the similar things two squared plus two a times two plus a squared minus a is greater than zero four plus four a plus a squared minus a greater than zero we simplify this one a squared plus 3a plus 4 greater than 0 okay we also uh, like solve this inequality like this but since I cannot factor this quadratic uh, function I need to check the discriminant first b squared minus 4 a c okay this is the coefficient of a is 1 this is for b and this is for c yeah i need to check i got here 9 minus 16 so the result is negative 7 this is less than 0 so it means this we cannot find the solution of this but this is the we call it definite definite positive or what does it mean it means uh, for any uh, number uh, real number of a if you put any number here it should it always positive so the result from here is a element real every value of a you can put every value of a to here it must be give you positive yeah no no matter the value of a is negative if you put it here it will be end with positive result okay so this is the third okay let's continue also from the position of axis parabola y equal hx okay from the previous we have hx equal fx minus gx right so we got here Four minus x squared so from here we got x squared and plus x squared become 2x squared plus 2ax plus a squared minus a and this one minus 4 okay this is hx hx yeah and the position of x axis of hx yeah the position should be uh, the x axis the axis of the parabola means like this the symmetry here is x equal minus b over 2a yeah okay so here we got minus b here is the b over 2a this is the a okay so i simplify here cancel this is this uh the position of axis yeah the position of exit is the axis itself should be between minus two and two yeah it should be between uh the uh because uh it should be positive between minus two and two from here okay it should be between it should be between this one okay yeah so we times by two 
okay and times by negative one it should be replaced here minus four put it here and it times by minus one become four put it here okay like changing the sign but we just move the number to other side okay so we got the last uh, solution okay and from one two three and four we need to get the conclusion okay i take the result the one is here this is one okay a between minus two and minus four okay so from one a between negative two and four from two we have here here less than one but greater than four from three i remember a is element real any value of a for four we got this one okay so better i draw i don't need to draw this one because uh it's for for all value of a so i draw for the first between negative two and four here and put it one here and four here less than one in here greater than four there and the last number line negative four here and four here they ask here about between yeah between here you can see from this three uh, number line satisfy all three is here this is okay so the final answer should be a between minus two and one okay put it here into the final answer here yeah a is between negative two and one okay thank you for watching see you in my next video